people expected, the expectancy of what people wanted is a terrifying thing. And you can't escape it once you're there. You're standing on stage, you can't say, I'm sorry, I just don't have it tonight and leave. You can't say cut and walk away. You're stuck, you're, you're going through to the end of it and you better be there. You better be, hang on as tight as you can, keep your, Keep your shit together and your ass wired tight, you know, that's, it's my... And you must have had 60, 70 performances of that? Yeah, was, uh, one every day except the day off. And it was... And did it finally land in a place that you were okay with, or was it a struggle the whole the way? The last week. The last week. The last couple of weeks was, uh, I felt comfortable and smooth to go through it. Then it ended. And I had time to reflect, and I used to get antsy around three o'clock. And my wife said, "What's the matter?" And I said, "I got to get the. Wow. I don't have to go to the theater anymore. Uh, you know, I, I I lived. I survived it. I made made it through. Sometimes just clawed my way through, but I made it through. That's the important thing to me. So now it's there, Shakespeare, stuck in my head, flush." Right, not only did it bore you when you were in grade nine, it kind of haunts you yeah. even after you've done it. Yeah, it came back, whatever goes around comes around. You know? Would you do it again if Stratford said come no. back and play? No, 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 I talked to Anthony Cimolino and I said I'd like to come back to Stratford sometime. When, when I get healed up, my leg heals up, I'd, I'd like to try something else. And he hemmed and hawed about it. And uh, well, he said, I'd like, we'd love to have you back, but we just don't know where to put you. With the, I said, I'm not good at Shakespeare, I must say. And uh, I think that, that uh, he heard that part, and I guess that's the part he heard. And when you did Mice and Men the same season, did you have the same challenges in that, or? Uh, he says, uh, he says George over 87 times in the, movie, in the play. <laughs> I counted every one, but <clears throat> it was more fun and uh, we had a, a better chance to react and evolve the theater every night. It was, it was like a swarm of birds watching it fly and it just took off. I'm, uh, it's, he, <clears throat> what I'm hearing and I don't know, Graham had the experience same experience that I had. I don't mean that. But when I hear you talking about sh the playwright, the plays, the company, it sounds as if um, it, it never became your own. It never became your space. That you were always in someone else's space, the Stratford space, yep. which is what I felt when I was there. I, was in, I could never be in the space. Because you know what it's like yeah, to be I've, in space as an actor. Yeah. This is my space, my cell, I'm listening. And you could never find that it's my space and therefore we're always out of, out of balance. And yeah. am I kind of fishing in the dark here? No, you're not. That's what I felt like. This is, not, this is not for me. This is not what I want. This is not where I can actually do what I have to do. I'm set in parameters and I hate parameters. It's like putting a being in a box where you can't really stretch out and do what you uh, naturally feel like doing. You're locked in and you have to, uh, you have to follow the every curve. Every, it's like being on a racetrack or a mountain bike track. You have to follow every curve and every track without falling off. As, as opposed to, uh, I, do, I did new plays, that's all. I never, that was my, this is my, it was my first play. Shakespeare was my first play that was ever uh, had been done for a long time. It's been redone and redone and redone and redone. Every piece of theater I've done has been my own uh, character, which I developed. And, and uh, I found it much easier because I had all the parts and all the tools. I just built it from there. But Shakespeare, uh, it was already there. I had to learn how to drive it. And it was, it was hard. It was really hard for me.